Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Sketchpad video. Um, I've worked to try to create some sense of understanding of how a mission, a vision, daily habits and a sense of purpose all fit together in uh, human nature. So enjoy. Bye for now. G'day guys. Today uh, I want to talk something uh, on the Sketchpad video that I think is quite fascinating uh, and sometimes somewhat confusing. Um, we have a circle. We have life. We say I am And what we mean by what we start to develop is a sense of self. And that sense of self, as far as we've discussed so far, has with it a series of component layers that uh, I'm not drawing very well here. A series of component layers that, if I hold this circle, yeah, that have an inner and an outer circle. And this outer circle has seven, oh shit. This outer circle has seven areas of life. So we say we have these seven areas. What have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we say I am, let's say, for example, happy if. That's a big if. If my money's on track. If my health is going fine, uh, if my spirituality gives me calm, if my work is on track, if my family life and my love is doing what I want, if my social connections are good, and um, if my mental health is doing on track. And because of that, we create, as you know, a pyramid of got to all the way through to love to. I think this is really understandable. However, while we have this word if, what it means is we're attached or dependent on things going the way we want them in order to be the thing we want to be. So when it comes to discussing uh, purpose with people, what we actually do is we talk about it in a complete opposite way. We say, oh, look at that I drew. Bloody hell. But my circle's so bad, it, the thing doesn't even recognise that it's a circle. We say, come on, there we go. We say, let's draw the inner circle first and find me. Bloody hell. Find me. Me. I'm the inner circle. And then let's build, this is going to be interesting, the outer circle around that. That didn't work, but anyway, you get the point. And then build the seven areas of life into the outer circle. And this me has no if. So our mission is always, in a sense, to build a sense of self which has no if, there's no if. In other words, there's no, if someone says, how are you today? And you go, because uh, my work is on track, I am feeling good. Well, the because and the good become a problem because if, if the thing isn't good, you're not good. And so you become caught in a cycle where you're totally dependent on everything that's happening around you to be successful or to be feel good or to be on track for you to feel good. And this dependency can be incredibly toxic. So depression, um, people who are on medication, people who are not happy in life, who are not enjoying their work, um, they, they've done the right thing. They've drawn the seven areas of life and created this circle. And they've, they are aware that uh, this circle has the seven components to it. Uh, and what, what we need to do it, when we first start this is make sure that we are 
developing a, a sense of balanced awareness, balanced sense of, of, of self-awareness, so that we can tick all the boxes of our life. In, in a sense, we know that if we leave any box unticked, we will end up being in a state of regret. So these seven areas of life become really critical. But nothing of the senses satisfies the soul. So ultimately, even though we might get balance right, even though we might get the seven areas of life right, but if we say, if we're still in the world of because or if, I'm happy because and I'm happy if, then we, we can't find heart, we can't find soul. We can't find love because we only love people if they do what we want. We only have soul, feel soul because it feels good. Or we only put our heart into something because there's a, a, a sense of feedback and, and, and what have you. So finding this place in the centre here, this experience of what I call in all of the work I do, ground zero, where you develop a sense of, of love and consciousness and beauty and you start to enjoy doing these things because you're not so much attached to them to feed back into the loop so that you feel, uh, feel good, you feel good, you feel inspired. So let's call this ground zero a state of inspiration when the inner voice speaks louder, this is the inner voice here, speaks louder than the outer. And these are the outer voices, material world. And they're very important, relationships, family and money and, and work. But if the inner voice isn't speaking louder than the outers, the outer voices, then we are very, very codependent, very, very dependent on things. And then we come to them quite corrupt because then we come to things in a state of defence any time we're in a state of defence, it means that we're in we're we're in in attachment. We're defending uh, what we've got against what we might lose or we, or what we want, and so that puts us in the lower portion of the the consciousness current. To live in the top, what we do is we create a sense of independence, independence at the top, interdependence lower down, and this is totally dependent down the bottom. This is human nature. Everybody is the same. Uh, and as you know from the conversations we've had in the past, this cone of consciousness, uh, it's really important to, to be aware of it, that the more uh, dependent we are on things, so the more we say if or because the more likely we are to be unhappy. But this leads us to another topic, and this is the topic of the day. How do I rest at work? Well, if you're in the outer circle and you're in dependence, you're in the outer circle and you go, if I get a good job done today and if... And because I did a good job, I f don't feel tired. That's not going to work for you in the long term. How do you rest at work? Well, the answer is really simple as far as I'm concerned. You don't get tired. So the things that make us tired at work are emotional dependency on things to go right in order to feel good. I think the more you find this inner circle, see if we can draw it again, the more you find this inner circle, the more you recognise that the outer circle is, um, the more you recognise that this outer circle is uh, the things that you do, but they're not the thing, they're, they're not causational. This outer circle is the seven areas of life and I recommend to everybody you have your seven missions of life all really clear, the mission you have, 
your mission, your mission, your mission, your mission, your mission, your mission, a mission in each area of life. And you have your vision in the centre, but ultimately it should lead to a state of inspiration where the inner voice speaks louder than the outer. This is Chris. You have a great day. Bye for now.